Okay, um, I'm now calling into your specs on your infrared ranger. Okay, let's let's see here. You have the Yukon YK28041 digital ranger 5x42 night vision uh, binoculars, correct? And I'm assuming it's the either monocular or the binoculars. Let's go with the binoculars. We'll say the binoculars. The binoculars, and I'm going to read this product description word for word. Yukon Digital Ranger 5x24 Generation 1 Night Vision Binoculars. 5 time magnification, which you said. So I'm assuming I'm on the right one. Field of view to 4 degrees. Uses 4, I mean, I'm sorry, 6 AA batteries, not included. Day and night operation. Higher resolution than Generation 1. Extra long distance viewing, effective over 300 yards. Now this is what the problem is. How much effectiveness over 300 yards are these glasses, uh, binoculars? Is Nibiru, Nibiru um, closer than 300 yards? Can this thing see past 300 yards? Uh, I'm just calling into this because I mean this is what you're using here. This is a product that you're using. It's expensive. It's four hundred dollars, and you're claiming to find planets with this thing. I don't know, dude. Don't know. Don't know. See, this is where also I'm concerned with you. Here you are telling us that you have to use infrared to see the bureau, and then your next video, the one you just put up, the most recent one, it's in regular light so I I explain to me dude because you're not you're not doing any explanation all you're doing is putting up videos of the sky and you're not doing any talking or I, I don't know you're like I, I don't know if you're hiding your voice but look here see this is me this is me talking to you and you I have done how many videos three four now towards you and you still have yet to give me one answer so here I am asking you tell me why you're going from infrared to regular when all of a sudden some people are like oh you can see it with the naked eye and other people are saying oh you only can see it with infrared so which is it why are you able to use both why is it both why is this you're not answering these questions so, you know back in 1983 Robert S. Harrison I think that was his name the lead NASA astronomer saw it with a six inch telescope just a regular, no infrared. Now all of a sudden people are saying you need infrared. You're saying you need infrared. You're, show, you're showing with infrared. Why, why? And some of your videos you're like, oh, you can't see it without infrared. And there's some people out there saying you can't see it without infrared. It hides in infrared. So what is it, dude? You know, you guys keep making these changes to your story. And sorry, man, any good cop will know. Anybody who changes their stories way too many or once too many times is normally telling a lie. So let me know. Answer me back. You can type it in. You can type it. You don't have to talk. You don't have to show a video. Fine.